Hey everyone, I just wanted to come here and kind of give you an idea on what to expect with your track tensioning. So um, I just wanted to show you what it looks like um, when your tracks are a little bit loose. Now here's one example here. Here, I can, when you pull up on your tracks, when I tell you on the phone, if you can pull up on your tracks, this is what you should do. Pull up on them. If you can slide your hand underneath, that's too loose. So if I can hit the track down like that, that's too loose. This gentleman needs to go in and tension his track. If you see this tug over here, this tug is new, but this is what the track should always look like. I can barely get my fingers under here. I cannot slide my hand under there. If there's that much slack, as you've seen in this tug over here, you'll definitely want to go in and tension your track. The instructions The instructions on how to do that are found in the manual and there's also a YouTube video on how to do it. Now, in order to piece your track together, there's some people that um, when you there's some people that end up losing rotor clips um, and have to actually piece this back together. When you do that, I want you to pay very close attention to how the links are set up. As you can see here, this link is over, this one is under, this one is over, that's under. And that's just how it goes throughout this whole track. There is one that you will see that's overlapped and that is actually the last, actually you can see it right here, I found it. That's the last connecting, um, the last connecting link that paired this whole track together to get it on the tug. You can see that it kind of goes, um, it should not, across the whole track, it should not go up, down, up, down. It should not do that. It should always be, there's one that's flush down the next one on the other the next one over should be completely over the top which you can see gaps if you were to take this camera and look straight down you can see gaps there's like it's a free of a gap but here you don't see that you see that that's the actual that's what you don't want the whole track to look like you do want it to be you know right here where it's flush against the track that's under this is over under over and so on so this is the only one on this side that should look like that and on the other side it will be the same thing now always make sure that that pattern continues when you piece these links back together but when you put the rotor clip on you'll want to look at the rotor clip and you can see obviously there's two sides but it has teeth in the middle of it right if you flip it over it looks like the teeth are more um they're pointing up that way so what you'll want to do is with your little brass tool which this is a little tool that helps you get this little clip on you'll want to make sure that the teeth are facing down into the brass tool and you'll put the rotor clip here then if you have your track still on you'll come to the track without the other rotor clip you'll put it here and you might want to have somebody holding this side or you can try to hold it with your finger along with this clip here and then you'll want to hammer the, the clip on. When you get that hammered on, you want to make sure that you spin your rotor clips. Now, if you can see a little closer, um, you want these rotor clips to be inside the groove. Now the camera's a little blurry because if you get so close then it gets a little blurry, but there is a little groove in here. Now the rotor clip is meant to sit in that groove. If you cannot freely rotate the rotor clip, you'll want to definitely make sure it's pushed into that groove so that it can slowly rotate or slowly, yeah, slowly rotate here. So you want to make sure that none of them are stuck because sometimes when you hit it in, it might get stuck here on the outer pin and it just needs a little bit more force to get inside that groove. Otherwise, you might experience some of them popping off and that's one of the reasons why. So I hope this helps you understand. Um, if you have any other questions, um, please feel free to either um, call us, email us, or even comment on this video below. Thank you.